Hi, Pete peeps. Welcome to this month's new release report. We're so happy you're here. We hope you had a great February. Let's talk about all the great things that you are using in your app that was released in February. All right, for our Max Classic users out there, we have a brand new e-commerce setup page. It is now easier than ever for you to get up and running and start selling and collecting money online, which is super important in our new virtual world. All right, for all of our Light Pro and Max users out there, we know how much of a headache it is scheduling appointments before you had keep. That back and forth hassle, wasting so much time trying to get those meetings set up, and then you just have clients who don't show up or come unprepared. Well, we know you all love Keep's appointment scheduler because this means no more no-shows, which means more leads converting and more sales for you, which is why we're so excited today to tell you about all the great updates that we've released to the appointment scheduler this month, including things like a brand new native Zoom integration and automated appointment reminders are now inside the Easy Automation Builder. And great news, we just won an award for best appointment scheduling software. So we're super excited about appointments this month. All right, now we're gonna jump into the new release report. As always, there's timestamps below if you'd like to jump ahead to a specific feature. Here's Michael, he is our new feature expert and he's gonna walk you through today's updates. The first thing I want to cover this month is for my Max Classic users that are using lots of saved searches. This is going to save you a lot of time and maybe some trouble. In the report section of any area of your application, doesn't matter if you're in the CRM or marketing, in that saved reports tab, you now have a my saved reports and searches item. So we've increased um, the scope of this item, so now it includes all your saved searches that you are the owner of. So if someone else in my application has a saved search, I won't see it here, I'll just see the ones that I own. But this allows me to launch them or I can select multiple items and easily delete a lot of those saved searches that I might have created a while ago and just never got around to deleting. We've made that a lot easier for you here so that you can keep your CRM nice and clean. All right, if you've been on the e-commerce page recently, you've definitely noticed this change. We've got a brand new design for this page with a handy quick actions button so that you can quickly get to the items that you know you're going to need. Um, and if something isn't on that quick actions list and you can't find it on the page, now you can just search for whatever you need. And then you can select that option or you can even click to learn more about everything on the page in our Max Classic Help Center. All right, this next update is for anyone using the tag applications report. Now previously you could only select one tag when you're running this report, but now I can choose as many as I want and then run the report and get back the contacts that have these tags applied to them. All right, next I wanna share some news about our Zoom video conferencing integration with you. It allows you to automatically generate Zoom links for any of your Keep appointments. And now I can use the Zoom integration when I've got an online appointment. This is gonna create unique links for every single meeting. That way I don't have one person jumping into another person's meeting. It's gonna make me look more professional and it's gonna ensure that all my meetings stay private, which is a huge bonus. I wanted to remind everyone, <laughs> no pun intended, that appointment reminders are now in easy automations. Seriously, I didn't even mean to do that. Um, <laughs> you will have 24 hour and one hour appointment reminders set up to be sent before any of your appointments. Those appointment reminders will stop if the appointment is canceled and you can edit these reminders. So if you want to change the information that you're requesting or providing to the customer or your client, you can do so here and make those changes. And if you maybe just don't want to have a reminder at 24 hours, if you like to leave people on the edge of their seats, you can remove that, customize this however you want. If you don't see these in your application, there is a default template here for appointment reminders. Just click the plus button and that'll get you set up. And if you've never used Keep Appointments before and the stuff I showed you hasn't already got you to pause this video and go set it up, I've got great news. We've made it easier than ever to get up and running with appointments and make sure it's going to fit your business. 
Now we will automatically create a 60 minute coaching call and a 15 minute initial consultation appointment type. You can use these right out of the box. You can book clients with these or you can edit them to make them fit your needs and make sure that they work for your business. So if 60 minutes is too long, you can reduce that down to 30 minutes, change the name and you're good to go. This is all ready to be used and you can start working with your clients and keep appointments. And coming very soon to your appointments, you're going to have a time zone setting in your calendar integration. This is going to allow you to set the time zone that you see when you're looking at your calendar. Your invitees are always going to see the availability in their time zone, but this is great if you're working on a dispersed team. So I can go in, I can change my time zone to Eastern time. Uh, this will not affect my application, it's just going to be for my user when I look at my calendar. So for the rest of my team in Phoenix, they'll continue to have the same app time zone and the same calendar time zones unless they go in and change their own setting. We've made some big improvements to the appointments experience on your mobile app as well. Now, if you haven't set up appointments yet, you need to do that before you launch the mobile app, but then go into appointments and you'll see that now you have easier ways to share your appointment links. You can book them yourself or you could send out an email to a client. You can also take a look at your calendar so you can see everything that you've got on the schedule for that day. You can also go back in time to look up some old appointments or you can modify appointments just by tapping into them if you need to cancel them or reschedule. All right, let's take a look at some little things that we've changed in Keep that could make a big difference to how you're using your application. The first thing is that it's easier to sort contacts. This option used to be in our filtering options for contact list, but now we've separated that out so you can access it easier and you can sort your list however you need to so you can find the exact contact you need. By default, your application is gonna revert to date added newest first. That way you can see the newest clients and contacts that are coming into your application so you can take action on them as quickly as possible. Your web forms now have inline validation, which is a fancy way of saying if I put something in, but then forget it and move on from a required field, I'm told right away. Your clients used to not see this until they submitted the web form, which could be a frustrating experience. And not only is it easier to find Nexus Merchants, one of our preferred processors in your app's payment settings, you now have the option to connect Nexus Merchants as a payment processor in a Lite, Pro, or Max app. And then we're updating our email tracking links, which you can see right down there in the bottom corner of your screen. Now, we're updating these just to reflect our new brand and to help with your email deliverability. This won't impact your client's ability to click links and visit pages. Thank you so much, Michael. That was an amazing new release report for February. We hope you all enjoyed it. Here's a quick recap on the screen of everything we just went over. You can find some really helpful links in the description below. Please make sure to stop by again next month where we're gonna go over some of the amazing new things that are gonna wrap up Q1 for us over here at Keep. We've got some exciting updates to pipeline, automation, and some new integrations to talk about. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye.